in today's video, we are going to talk about what is DevOps, why DevOps is needed, and why it is gaining so much popularity in recent times. Then we will try and understand where does cloud fit in here. And then finally, we will take a look at Microsoft Azure Stack for DevOps, which is also known as Visual Studio Team Services. So let's first try and understand what exactly DevOps is. As per the definition given on the internet, it is a combination of cultural philosophies, practices, and tools that increases an organization's ability to deliver applications and services at high velocity. Now, high velocity is the keyword here. If you remember a couple of months back or maybe a couple of years back, it was quite normal to deliver an application uh, in three months time or six months time a typical deployment frequency was at least a quarter. But today, if you talk about the top performing companies, companies who are right at the top, their frequency is a couple of times deployments every single day, right? So they're doing multiple deployments in a single day in 24 hours time on their production machines. That is how fast they have become. So it's really important to uh, implement DevOps practices in order to do that. Without DevOps, that would not be possible at all. You cannot even think about multiple deployments in a single day if you don't have DevOps practices implemented in your company. So essentially, you try to uh, get this pipeline wherein you have a, bell, a build, test, and release pipeline, and which actually uh, then you monitor your customers, uh, their behavior, and then plan accordingly for the next set of uh, enhancements and bug fixes and things like that. So this is a continuous process. It goes on and on and on. So now we understand what exactly DevOps is all about. Then let's try and understand why it has become so popular in recent times with the IT companies. The first and the foremost important uh, benefit of DevOps is that it makes your developers and operations folks to collaborate in a much better way with a lot less friction. They have a common goal. And what they want to do is essentially to make sure that the application is up and running, which is the primary task. And what happens is they collaborate in a much better way. Uh, they understand each other's problems and they understand each other's way of working and which actually helps productivity increment for both of them. There was practices such as continuous integration, continuous delivery, uh, infrastructure as code, etc. They make it possible to release the code way faster than before with almost no errors which results in faster time to market and minimized failed deployments. Now, faster time to market or time to market is a concept of an idea which has been first uh, thought about and then you know it went through the process of designing and implementing and coding and then finally testing. And finally, you have an end result which goes to the end users. So that process, the whole time taken is known as time to market, which becomes increasingly faster if you are implementing DevOps in your projects. Now, because of all these combination of practices and cultural changes and all those things, you have uh, a shared responsibility model, which actually helps in increased collaboration as we have seen before and faster releases. So these two, what happens in turn, increases overall productivity of every individual and the team. And overall, you become much more productive what, uh, uh, than what you have been in the past. Now, Puppet Labs and uh, Adora, which is a, a DevOps research organization, they publish every year one report, which is known as State of DevOps Report, uh, which they compile after doing a lot of surveys of the IT individuals and the companies. Uh, they have been publishing this report for the past five, six years now already. And if you go and take a look at all these uh, past reports, which are available on the internet, uh, free of cost, you don't have to pay anything for it. You can just type in state of DevOps report and the year for which you want it, and you can get the report in a PDF format. Uh, this report basically uh, compiles a lot of information about the people who are trying to implement or who have implemented DevOps in the past, and what are the benefits they have uh, been able to see after implementing DevOps. And some of the most uh, important benefits are, first of all, it is frequent deployments, as we have seen before. Uh, the rate of deployment becomes very fast, and uh, it gets reduced from months to quarters, uh, from months and quarters to becomes weeks and days and hours. You can actually do, do deployments uh, in, in an hourly fashion uh, instead of uh, in a monthly or quarterly fashion. Then we have a faster MTTR. MTTR stands for mean time to recovery. So let's say if there's a failed deployment, uh, how long it takes for you to make your application normal up and running again. 
So that whole time is typically calculated in the form of MTTR. And that's actually, uh, if you see on screen, it is 24 times faster than previous or 24 times faster than a non DevOps project, project compared to a uh, DevOps project. Then of course we have uh, a very less number of uh, failed deployments if you are on uh, a DevOps framework. And finally, we have a very shorter lead times. Now lead times actually indicates the time given to the deployment uh, team uh, to, to get ready for the deployments. So let's say you told your deployment team that today you are telling that you the, the deployment has to be done two days afterwards. So that gives you basically 48 hours uh, to the deployment teams, right? So that gets reduced to uh, from weeks to days and then from days to hours. As per Gene Kim, who is one of the uh, uh, ma uh, chief evangelists for uh, DevOps, uh, one of the way how you measure DevOps, uh, you know, implementation is if you say your deployment team that you have to deploy a software right now, and if their answer is anything but yes, that would mean that they still need to work on their DevOps framework. So if you are completely on DevOps, you should be able to deploy anytime and anywhere. So now we have understood what is DevOps and uh, why DevOps has become so popular. Now let's try and understand the, the, the relationship between DevOps and cloud, which are two of the most happening uh, technologies at the moment. So the first and uh, uh, the most important uh, relationship is that they are complementary to each other. What happens is there are a lot of principles and a lot of uh, 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 you know uh, technologies which are common to DevOps and cloud. And what happens is if you implement DevOps, you are helping your cloud infrastructure. And if you have a cloud infrastructure, it actually helps you uh, to get on a DevOps framework much quicker. What happens is uh, a combination of DevOps and cloud provides you uh, a definite advantage over your competition. And cloud actually makes it easy to implement DevOps services because of inherent abstraction of complexities. So what happens is you don't need to bother about whether your tools are going to be integrated or not, whether you have to, you have written the glue code or not, things like that. You have all the framework ready in front of you and you, you just need to get up and rolling with your DevOps uh, uh, implementation if you are working on cloud. Whereas if you're working on some on-premise solution, let's say you have a, a, a traditional data center in which you're trying to implement DevOps, it will always be uh, more complex than on if you're doing the same thing on the cloud. And finally, uh, cloud, as you're aware, it gives you this added advantage of agility, scalability, and on-demand availability. These are some of the things which are inherent to cloud. The moment you uh, talk about cloud, the moment you implement cloud, all these things come naturally to so these are the other things which are which you get by default if you are on uh, cloud. So so these things actually help in your uh, DevOps implementation. So Microsoft has uh, given their uh, uh, DevOps services a name, which is known as a Visual Studio Team Services, and all the DevOps related uh, services uh, have been uh, compiled over here. So let's take a look at what exactly those are and how they have been uh, divided, and what are actually uh, what do they offer you. So as the name, uh, as you can see, is Visual Studio Team Services and whatever, if you want to, uh, you know, uh, make a full-fledged uh, DevOps pipeline, uh, starting from plan to code, to build, to test and release, uh, you are supposed to work with Visual Studio Team Services. And you can actually, uh, it is very fast and uh, easy for you to plan, build and ship software. Uh, across a variety of platforms, you can actually get up and running in minutes on uh, uh, Azure Cloud without having to install or configure a single server. You can access your projects, your code and work items through an integrated experience uh, within Visual Studio. Um, or you can use free plugins which are already available for you. And uh, for example, you have support for uh, uh, Git client, you have support for uh, Xcode, you have modern web browser interface. And uh, uh, you can use your favorite development tool uh, uh, to tailor Visual Studio team services to your team's needs. And you get you know, free private code repositories. Uh, you can track your bugs, work items, feedback. Uh, you have uh, inbuilt agile planning tools. If you're, if you're on agile uh, uh, framework, you get all the tools inbuilt uh, with the uh, Visual Studio team services. You have uh, continuous integration builds, uh, which are already inbuilt into the uh, platform. 
you can develop and work in any language all the major languages such as uh, uh, .NET and Java and Python and Ruby all of them are uh, supported by uh, uh, Visual Studio Team Services uh, you get this infrastructure as code ability with 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 the help of Azure Resource Manager uh, which is you can think of it as a counterpart for uh, Chef or Puppet and uh, uh, for monitoring we have something called application insights which is the uh, inbuilt monitoring tool which is provided to you within visual studio uh, team services so let's take a look at one by one some of these uh, some of the most important services which are which are given by visual studio uh, team services or uh, also known as uh, microsoft azure team services and uh, the first one in the list is uh, of course source code management now in uh, uh, Microsoft Azure, you have actually two options. If you want to use distributed version control system, you have an option of Git. And uh, if you are a big fan of centralized version control systems, then you have this option of uh, TFS, Team Foundation Version Control, as you are uh, aware of it already. And uh, Visual Studio Team Services actually uh, lets you connect directly to any Git repository uh, or service provider, including uh, Git or uh, let's say TFS or maybe GitHub, uh, Bitbucket. Uh, your private repository or even subversion you can automatically trigger your pipeline from uh, uh, changes to your code and uh, authentication part is taken care of by typically git credential manager or uh, uh, ssh so uh, visual studio team services lets you perform most common git tasks you will need for your day-to-day -day work right from visual studio and you have uh, team explorer and uh, you have git command line uh, which work great together and when you make updates and perform commands through one interface uh, you'll be able to see those changes reflected in the other uh, you can limit who can contribute to specific branches uh, and automatically include the right reviews for uh, every code change so you get all the capabilities uh, which you would like to have in your source code management uh, suite so next in line we have uh, continuous integration and uh, visual studio uh, team services lets you integrate with any of the application stack of your choice uh, for test for uh, uh, testing and integration in order to achieve uh, continuous integration now high performing teams practice continuous integration and continuous delivery now visual studio team services not only automates the build and testing and deployment of your app it actually uh, gives you complete traceability to see everything in the build uh, including changes to your code reviews and test results uh, it actually lets you integrate with any application stack of your choice as we have uh, uh, seen before and uh, you can actually work on all major platforms such as windows linux and ios and uh, with suites like maven nunit junit etc when you talk about uh, continuous delivery or build and release related uh, services again you have a, a host of services at your uh, disposal actually uh, you know uh, visual studio team services and uh, team foundation server which actually helps you implement a highly customizable continuous integration and deployment pipeline and as we have seen before you can use any of the application stack uh, for your purpose you can uh, uh, develop your code in dotnet in java uh, in node.js php python anything anything of your choice right and uh, similarly you have multiple ways to deploy and multiple locations you can uh, deploy your uh, uh, application right uh, visual studio team services actually supports deploying your application to virtual machines uh, to containers if you have an on premise data center or if you have any of the cloud uh, platforms or pass services you can deploy anywhere you like if your goal is to produce packages uh, which can be consumed by others so even that has been uh, uh, given as a capability in Visual Studio Team Services, you have a built-in package management repository and uh, uh, you can package and publish your application bits uh, as let's say NuGet, NPM or uh, Maven packages uh, into the built-in repository or into any other package management repository of your choice. Now, when it comes to monitoring, we have uh, application insights. Now, application insights is an extensible uh, application performance management service for uh, uh, web developers who are building and managing uh, apps uh, on uh, multiple platforms. Uh, with application insights, you can actually uh, quickly find out uh, how your app is performing uh, and being used when it is live. Uh, let's say if there is a problem, it lets you know about it. You can help. Uh, it actually helps you assess the impact and helps you determine uh, the cause. Uh, it actually lets you increase your visibility uh, over application and brings your operation 
and application uh, uh, data together in uh, one place. So you have all the capabilities of a modern continuous monitoring uh, application with, in the form of application insights, which is an inbuilt application in Azure Stack. So when we talk about infrastructure as code, uh, we again have an inbuilt tool uh, within your Azure Stack, which is known as Azure Resource Manager. And uh, when you talk about infrastructure, when you think about your application infrastructure, you think of uh, many components, right? You think of a virtual machine, you think of storage account, you think of uh, uh, network components, a web app, database, uh, you know, third party services. You don't, you don't see these components as separate entities, right? Uh, instead, you see them as related and interdependent parts of a single entity. Uh, you want to deploy, manage, and uh, monitor them as a group. And that's what Azure Resource Manager uh, lets you uh, do it. You can actually deploy, update, or delete all the resources for your solution in a single coordinated operation. You use a template for uh, deployment, and that template can work for different environments, such as uh, uh, testing, staging, and production. Resource Manager provides uh, security, auditing, uh, uh, tagging features to help you manage your resources even after deployments. Now, Agile tools actually uh, they help you. Uh, you know, uh, you can track everything in a single place with the help of Agile tools, and uh, they kind of give you all the management-related capabilities when you want to have a, a you know a bird's eye view of your overall DevOps infrastructure. So you have this uh, dashboard availability in which you can actually see in a nutshell, at a glance, you can take a look at what exactly is going on uh, with your infrastructure. Now, let's say you are working on a, uh, if you're working on a Scrum or Kanban, uh, you know, if you're working on that model, then let's say you have uh, Kanban boards at your disposal and you have even a Scrum boards at your disposal. You can actually capture new features and bugs or any other work item into your backlogs. You can actually customize your uh, uh, task boards as per your needs, you know, uh, so that you can track your team progress uh, or you can use agile portfolio management for uh, uh, larger groups uh, to track work across all of the uh, teams. Now, apart from all these, whatever we have uh, discussed uh, so far, we have something called a Visual Studio Marketplace. Now, this is a place, it is an online store that offers applications and services uh, either built in or uh, designed to integrate with Azure Cloud Platform. Now, let's say we have uh, discussed all of the tools beforehand, right? We have been discussing for the last five minutes or so. Uh, but let's say uh, you need a tool which is not there in the list. So you need to come to the marketplace and this will give you uh, uh, whatever tools you need for your uh, uh, DevOps pipeline, you will have those tools available here, right? Uh, the products and services uh, which are sold through the Azure Marketplace, actually they come either from Microsoft directly uh, or the, uh, the technology uh, partners. So with Marketplace, actually, you can uh, integrate Azure Cloud with a host of technologies. Like, as you can see on the screen, you have Jenkins, Docker, uh, Redgate, we have Elasticsearch, MongoDB, Cassandra, uh, uh you know netscaler f5 big ip and 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 a lot more actually uh now azure marketplace also supports various pricing models uh let's say bring your own license model or uh, uh, pay as you go model or even free software extensions so all these extensions are available on marketplace and uh, uh, they are certified by microsoft to ensure compatibility with the azure cloud platform and uh, as of uh, mid 2016, Azure Marketplace has more than 3,500 products organized into several uh, categories. So, in order to summarize whatever we have discussed, if you if you uh, see today's uh, uh, IT world, with most of the companies, they are actually today adopting both cloud and DevOps. It's actually even more important to understand both the technologies in right perspective. Uh, and uh, you know how they can complement each other. Now, cloud makes it uh, much easier and uh, productive to adopt DevOps practices. And uh, on the other hand, DevOps makes the ROI on cloud adoption even more lucrative for any company dealing with software delivery. And as we have seen, uh, Microsoft Azure gives you a host of uh, support, uh, uh, you know, uh, services and technologies to work with and make your life uh, smooth as a DevOps engineer. So I hope that uh, you found that information uh, good for your knowledge and uh, thank you for watching. Hi there. If you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.